Last night I spoke at a friend's uh, 15 years continuous sobriety last night, his birthday party. His name is Rodney and it was a great birthday celebration. There about 25, 30 people there. I spoke, I haven't spoken a long time because I'm not a big fan of speaking anymore. I do these videos and I do other stuff and I wasn't really a big fan of it. Plus it makes me really nervous and self-centered. So that's one of the main reasons too. I really don't like speaking. But anyways, when I was talking about my alcoholism, you know, I didn't really believe I was an alcoholic when I was actively drinking. I didn't believe that. I didn't believe that I drank a lot and that's why my life was so crummy. I believe that my life was so crummy because of my childhood. I couldn't read and write. I had emotional difficulties. I was always angry. I was always hurt. I was, you know, just mentally, emotionally broken defunct that's what I thought I, I it was and I believe the alcohol really helped me out and that's one of the themes I said last night when I was talking at this meeting and and I believe that I believed it if it wasn't for the alcohol I wouldn't have survived at all it may be so maybe the alcohol did help me in some ways you know maybe you know maybe stop me from committing suicide or something who, who knows right but another theme came out too in that whole talk was the Pink Floyd album, you know? The lunatic is in your head. And when I quit drinking, that's when a lot of stuff came out. This booze held back the dam of emotions, unresolved issues, mental problems, whatever it was, it held that back like a dam, like an alcoholic dam. So when I started sobering up, there was no more medicine. There was no more help available. I was on my own my own resources and you know i ended up in jail at nine months of continuous sobriety for lashing out on somebody over the telephone uh, believe it or not i did that i was so so unstable when i quit drinking and i didn't realize how difficult it would be to stop it to stop the booze i didn't realize that and people, all kinds of people have tried to help me. Cops try to help me. Therapists try to help me. Everybody try to help me become sort of normal and a productive person in sobriety. They really did. And I believe me, I tried and I couldn't get it. I really just couldn't understand. And the reason I couldn't understand it, I guess, is the main reason is because I, re I, re I relied on my own resources. And when I mean that, what I'm saying is that I was afraid to show myself to anybody. I was afraid to tell people my deep, dark secrets. I really was. And, and so I relied on my own resources. I relied on my own strengths and weaknesses. And let me tell you something, there's a lot more weaknesses than there was strengths to get sober. Until I surrendered or gave it up, there was real no hope for me. There was real no hope for me of ever recovering or getting some sort of stable life emotionally and mentally in my one day to times in sobriety. There was nothing, okay? I was going to meetings, I was doing all the right things physically, but when it came to emotional and mental things, I wasn't doing all the right things. And this is only my story, right? And I became over time slowly more irritable and more discontent in my sobriety. So what I'm trying to tell you is this, Alcoholics Anonymous, it taught me how to live. And Alcoholics Anonymous is basically about that. It's about giving people a framework to design a life for themselves that they don't have to drink anymore through their life and destroy themselves emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. We can do those things. We can live our lives one day at a time, full, and get all the gifts that regular people get. You know, our, our lives, our emotional difficulties are not uncommon. Regular people have them. It's just that we can't go through life drinking. We can't drink. We have a stressful day, we can't have a drink or a toke or a drug. We can't do that kind of stuff. We have to sort it out by ourselves or through the group or through a sponsor 
and deal with the stress and deal with that. Because if we drink, we reactivate the disease of alcoholism and we may never come back. We may never come back, but we are not as unique as we think. We only think it because that's the way we think, right? Alcoholics always think they even got their own way of thinking, but we don't. We're just regular people who have the disease of alcoholism that need to reach out and find a way of living our lives one day at a time sober, without drinking, without destroying ourselves, without tearing down the house of cards or what we build in our lives. And how do we do that? Well, I'll tell you how I did it. I did it through sponsorship, working the steps of Alcoholics Anonymous, working the traditions, finding a higher power, getting active in my life, in understanding that life is difficult for everybody. Just because I'm an alcoholic, it doesn't mean life is going to be easier for me, especially at the beginning. It can be very hard at the beginning because we have to clean up the wreckage of the past. We have to sort ourselves out. There's a lot of work to do, especially a lot, the first three to five years sort of thing. Maybe it's less for some people. There's a lot to do. But after that, it gets pretty normal. It gets pretty normal. It becomes second nature how to respond to the world around us. The unmanageability in our lives the, comes from our emotional and mental state. We need to understand that and keep that at bay and find ways organically to soothe those problems. And the best way to do it is to let it go, talk to somebody, help somebody, Turn it over to a God of your understanding and understand that whatever comes up in your life, that you do not have to drink. This too will pass. This will be okay as long as you don't drink. Once we drink, we've lost all hope. If we don't drink, there is always hope for a brighter outcome in our lives. There really is. It's a wonderful, wonderful way of living. Living the A way, living in a sobriety life one day at a time. It really is. It's a wonderful life. Everybody is entitled to it. Everybody is. And hey, who knows what will happen in your sobriety? Who knows? The miracle is just around the corner. Stay sober long enough for you can get those miracles. Really, really, because my life, is far from being being far from being perfect. It really is. Some days it's really crappy. It really is. But I know that I need to reach out and get support. I know that. Go to a meeting, all those things that are very automatic to me nowadays, and just realize that I am not perfect. I am not a machine that responds to the world and thinks nothing of it. I am not. A, I'm a person. I absorb things. I feel. I think, I do all those things. I'm not a machine, I'm not. So I need to give myself some tender, loving care and take it one day at a time and be very patient with myself whenever I'm going through something that's not sitting right with me. It really is, because life can really throw us some crazy, crazy stuff, it really can. So remember, the lunatic is in our heads we can help ourselves one day at a time by applying ourselves to the program and saying, enough is enough. I've had enough of this crummy life, this high cost of low living. I've had enough of it. And I'm not going to continue to live like this. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to stand up for myself and build a life that suits me and a life that I can be proud of on my own, okay? So that's all I have to say today. It's a little long today, isn't it? I'm just out walking the dog. I'm on holidays. It's Friday. It's a beautiful morning. It's gonna be another warm one today. And I'm by myself. My uh, stepdaughter's having a baby. She's in the hospital having a little baby there. But she's uh, gonna have a C-section. And there's some little bit of difficulties. So they're gonna have to do that. Right by now, there's probably, baby, probably the baby is born. I think if it's a boy, it's going to be called Martin. And if it's a girl, it's going to be called Allah. Okay? Another extension of 
the sobriety family, another extension of the family that the awful alcoholism, the drama, the chaos in the house is broken. The kids who come up now can live a joyous and free life just like their parents are doing. Isn't that wonderful? It really is, isn't it? It's terrific. My name is Terry G. This is an Alcohol Free Life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe and take another second and hit that like button. But can, uh, well, I was gonna say something else, but I'm gonna leave it like that. Just remember, sobriety is freedom. It's freedom, people. Get sober, free yourself from the shackles of alcoholism and addiction. Free yourself from that. Be the person you want to be, okay? God bless, one day at a time. Ciao for now, bye-bye.